Prince Charles has been waiting in the wings for over 50 years as his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, continues to sit as the longest serving, living sovereign. Queen Elizabeth II has been the United Kingdom's monarch for an incredible 68 years, making her the longest serving in history. However, the recent death of her husband of 73 years Prince Philip means people are starting to think about what the next generation of the royal family will look like. Prince Charles will take over once the Queen dies, and it's likely there will be some changes with he takes the throne. When Charles eventually becomes king, as Queen Elizabeth II begins to slow down, handing off some of her royal duties to her son, Prince Charles and her grandsons, Prince William and Prince Harry, it appears that the longest reigning monarch in British history is ready to step aside as Queen. We can expect his wife, Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall to be by his side, although she'll likely be going by a new title as well, and Camilla will become the Queen when Prince Charles becomes King. Princess Diana was loved by so many, millions of loyal fans from all over the world were quick to villainize Parker Bowles once it was confirmed that she had been having a long term affair with Prince Charles. However, despite what the public thought of Parker Bowles, Prince Charles' loyalty to her remained strong. On the 9th of April, 2005, Prince Charles and his girlfriend for over three decades had finally tied the knot to become husband and wife. It was one that overlapped with both of their respective marriages. Prince Charles' ex-wife, the late Princess Diana, was beloved across the globe, so when details about the prince's affair with the Duchess leaked, the public was disgusted. Now that the two have been married for over a decade, many people are starting to see that the lady who was once Princess Charles' mistress is not as bad as everyone had once thought. Whenever she is seen in public, her friendly and caring personality seems to shine bright. Because people are starting to see her in a new light, they are starting to think that she would make a great queen. So, will the Duchess of Cornwall be the new queen when the time comes? As it turns out, she will never be eligible to become the queen of the United Kingdom and here is why. In the royal family, the female spouse is given a title that mirrors her husband's. Prince Charles' official royal title while he is in England, is His Royal Highness Prince Charles Philip Arthur George, Prince of Wales, Duke of Cornwall. This means that Parker Bowles' official royal title is Her Royal Highness, Duchess of Cornwall. Because Prince Charles is a Duke, Parker Bowles became a Duchess when she married him. When Prince Charles becomes King, Duchess Camilla will be known as the Queen Consort, not Queen. As the title suggests, the queen consort is the spouse of the king. Only women who inherit the crown as their birthright take the title of queen. It was previously stated on the official royal website that Duchess Camilla would be given the title of princess consort when Prince Charles became king. However, they have since taken their statement down. Many assume that because fans are starting to warm up to the idea of Duchess Camilla becoming queen. The royal family has now decided to change her title to Queen Consort. Duchess Camilla's role in the royal family will not be much different than what it is now. Because she is not an heir to the throne, she will not technically be the leader of any country. Instead, her job will be to support her husband as he takes on his new role as the king. She will be expected to travel with him and continue to work on her many patronages as participate in some new ones. As of now, Duchess Camilla is the patron of around 90 different charities. However, Queen Elizabeth's husband reportedly has over 780 different patronages. Why is Camilla Parker Bowles not called the Princess of Wales? Before the couple wed in a civil ceremony at Windsor Guildhall, Clarence House announced, it is intended that Mrs. Parker Bowles should use the title HRH the Princess Consort when the Prince of Wales accedes to the throne. However, the customary title for the wife of a reigning king is, in fact, Queen Consort. At the time, Slade described Princess Consort as a new title created just for Camilla, because crowning her as queen would create PR problems for the royals. Because Prince Charles is the Prince of Wales, technically, Duchess Camilla does have the title of Princess of Wales. However, 
this title has long been associated with the late Princess Diana. So, in order to keep the peace with the public, Duchess Camilla has decided not to use her princess title, and instead, only uses the title, the Duchess of Cornwall. As royal expert Marlene Koenig had further explained the reason behind Duchess Camilla's title by saying, Camilla was not a popular or well-liked, though this has changed a lot since the marriage as Camilla has taken on a lot of patronages and Charles is a lot happier. Still, there was a lot of tension and anger among a certain element of the population, so it was decided that Camilla would be styled as the Duchess of Cornwall, even though, of course, she is the Princess of Wales. Let's face it Diana and Charles should never had married in the first place. Total opposites, Charles was under pressure to marry, there were only so many options. Diana was the one chosen because she had royal connections, young. The best thing that came from the marriage were William and Harry. Even if Camilla hadn't been around I doubt if they would still be together, but no one can predict what has or hasn't happened. It was all very sad, but is history now. No good going on about it. He married Camilla and they at least look happy together. If the car accident hadn't happened who knows Diana could have married someone and lived quite happily. Let it go life is too short to worry about things you can't change. At a time the Duchess of Cornwall dated Prince Charles in the 70s, but both then married other people the heir to the throne marrying Diana and Camilla marrying Andrew Parker Bowles. In 1994, Charles famously admitted he'd been having an extramarital affair with Camilla since 1986. Diana, in conversation with Mr. Bashir in 1995, then rubbed salt in the wound by saying, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. And the BBC recently apologised for how Mr. Bashir secured his interview with the Princess of Wales more than 20 years ago. Lord Dyson's investigation found that, he had been deceitful and used fake documents to persuade Charles Spencer to introduce the journalist to his sister. Camilla issued a trademark reaction after Princess Diana's infamous interview with BBC Panorama's Martin Bashir. Camilla, who has never spoken publicly about the affair, was widely villainized after these astonishing revelations. Yet, she took a stoic approach towards the widely unfriendly attitude from the public. Shortly after Diana's interview aired, journalist Mary Braid noted, Silence and discretion are Camilla's trademarks. She continued, this is a woman who has endured without a whisper an avalanche of public insults after Prince Charles told millions about their affair on television. Nigel Evans, then editor of Majesty magazine, also told The Independent that Camilla's attitude could save the monarchy. Camilla later transformed her public image through Prince Charles' advisors. Meanwhile, Prince William gave an emotional speech in which he said the BBC failed his mother in that their woeful incompetence allowed this deception to fuel her paranoia. And Mr. Bashir has apologized for his actions, but still maintains that it did not harm Diana or affect her decision to give him the interview. While Prince Harry also claiming, the ripple effect of a culture of exploitation and unethical practices ultimately took her life. Recently. The Duchess of Cornwall visited the Royal Academy of Arts to celebrate the gallery's reopening. Prince Charles' wife looked amazing in her latest ensemble. Camilla is patron of Royal Academy friends and this institution is close to her heart. During her visit she met with members of the ticketing, visitor welcome and security team who have been instrumental in the gallery's safe reopening post-lockdown. The blonde royal looked amazing in a navy blue dress which she teamed with her favorite cape coat and a crisp white shirt. Layering her items, it gave her outfit a contemporary feel. We loved the mother of two's outfit for the occasion. She wore a stunning navy blue and white dress by her favorite designer Fiona Clare which had a total nautical vibe. So chic. The Duchess of Cornwall supports her husband, the Prince of Wales in carrying out his work and duties as heir to the throne. She also undertakes public engagements on behalf of the charities that she supports. Since her marriage to the Prince of Wales in 2005, the Duchess of Cornwall has become patron or president of a number of charities and regularly attends events to support them.
To find out more about Her Royal Highness's charitable work, please visit the Duchess's official website. Please support growing channel by subscribe channel and like video ah, and don't forget activate notifications to channel to always get the latest news. If you have any problems with the information in the video, please write a comment below to let us know and answer.